Are we facing a disaster after all? NASA experts initially gave the all clear for the asteroid Apophis, calculating that it would narrowly miss Earth in five years. However, a new study by Canadian astronomer Paul Waird has concluded that the 350 meter wide asteroid could still alter its trajectory, potentially taking an unfortunate detour. But how likely is it that Apophis will collide with a smaller object, setting its course toward Earth? What would the consequences of this worst-case scenario be, and would we be able to prevent an impact? Join us on this cosmic journey the NASA is preparing now. According to a new study, a Puffy's asteroid could change its course. On June 19, 2004, astronomers Roy Tucker, David J. Tolan, and Fabrizio Bernardi made two important revelations. First, they discovered a previously unknown asteroid orbiting in space, and second, they inadvertently triggered widespread media hysteria. The celestial body, later named Apophis, quickly made headlines as a potential killer asteroid set to pass dangerously close to Earth on April 13, 2029, on Friday the 13th, no less. There's no denying the ominous nature of this asteroid's name, after all, Apophis is named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and darkness. Setting aside the eerie designations, initial assessments from NASA experts raised concerns. In December 2004, the probability of Apophis hitting Earth was estimated at 1 in 37, 2.7%, the highest value ever recorded for an asteroid of this size on the Torino risk scale. This probability wasn't just for the year 2029, but extended to the years 2036 and 2068. It's easy to imagine how the media reacted to these forecasts. However, 20 years later, both media and astronomical experts have calmed, thanks to detailed follow-up studies suggesting that Apophis will narrowly miss Earth in five years unless something unforeseen happens that disrupts all the current mathematical predictions. More on that later. While an Apophis impact wouldn't cause a global apocalypse like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, the consequences would still be devastating. According to researchers, the impact crater could span several kilometers and the force of the collision would be strong enough to devastate an area the size of Central Europe. Scientists estimate that the energy released by such an impact would be equivalent to 900 million tons of TNT. By comparison, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945 had a force of only 15,000 tons of TNT. While these figures are alarming, they are far from sufficient to destroy the entire surface of the Earth. Experts believe the immediate kill zone would span a 250-kilometer radius, though the impact's effects would depend on where the asteroid struck. If Apophis were to hit the ocean, it could cause a massive tsunami over 100 meters high, burying nearby coasts and killing countless creatures in coastal and inland regions. Could Apophis hit Earth, after all? The good news is that as things stand, this is still a remote possibility. Current trajectory models predict that Apophis will miss Earth by a mere 32,000 kilometers in 2029, passing below geostationary orbit. However, this all clear comes with a caveat. Apophis's trajectory must remain unchanged. While the probability of a change in orbit is low, it isn't zero. In fact, astronomers have observed that Apophis's orbit is currently being shifted by radiation pressure from the Sun by about 170 meters per year. Fortunately, 
this shift won't send apophis toward Earth in 2029, but it could cause a collision in a later pass. Adding to the uncertainty, astronomers cannot rule out the possibility of apophis being struck by a smaller asteroid. Canadian astronomer Paul Waird explains that such a collision could impart enough momentum to alter Apophis's trajectory fatally. NASA's DART mission has already demonstrated how a celestial body can be diverted in such a scenario. During the mission, the DART spacecraft acted as a battering ram, smashing into the 1065-meter-wide asteroid moon Dimorphos. While this was a test, a similar impact on Apophis could have far-reaching consequences. So, when does Apophis become a serious threat? The deflection of Apophis's orbit was first recorded in 2020, and experts believe close monitoring is essential. However, since 2021, Apophis has been out of sight due to its proximity to the Sun, making it invisible to even the most powerful telescopes. It won't reappear until 2027, leaving some uncertainty about its path. We won't have precise data until two years before its flyby. Despite the lack of direct observation, model simulations like Paul Waird's can still predict potential danger. His analysis shows that Apophis's orbit would need to shift by about 200 kilometers to enter the keyhole, a zone where Earth's gravity could deflect the asteroid enough to set it on a collision course for 2036. Interestingly, a collision with an object as small as 60 centimeters could be enough to shift Apophis's orbit, altering its speed by three ten thousandths of a meter per second enough to cause a 200-kilometer shift. If the asteroid were to pass through the keyhole, the consequences could be catastrophic. For an impact in 2029, a slightly larger object, about 3.4 meters across, would be needed to alter Apophis's trajectory. But how likely is such a collision? According to Waird, Around 140 objects measuring 60 centimeters hit Earth every year, while only one object 3.4 meters across strikes annually. Given the smaller cross section of Apophis, the chance of it entering the keyhole due to a collision is about one in a million. The odds of an impact in 2029 are even lower, one in 100 million. Further reducing the risk, only 5% of impacts impart enough momentum to divert a pulphus in the right direction, making the chance of a catastrophic collision less than 1 in 2 billion. Despite the low probability, experts must still keep a close watch on a pulphus, especially starting in 2027. Any deviation of more than a few tenths of an arc second could signal a disruption to its orbit. While this doesn't necessarily mean Apophis is on a collision course, further investigations would be necessary. Researchers are already developing a small satellite to accompany Apophis during its Earth flyby. And while the asteroid may not pose an immediate threat, its approach presents a unique opportunity for scientists to study a near-Earth object up close a rare event that occurs only once every 100 years. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.